Hi, my name is Hassam Abdul Al. I'm the Freeway Program Manager. We wanted to take the time today to let you know that in District 4, we are going to be putting in ramp signals in Broward and Palm Beach counties as part of the I-95 Express Lane project. Once these signals are constructed, they are usually covered until they are operational. We typically collect the data, in, which flows back to our TMC, and we use the data to fine tune the RAP signaling schedules at each location to achieve optimal performance. Also, at each RAP signal, we have dedicated CCTV cameras, which help us maintain situational awareness at each RAP so as to avoid queue spillbacks onto the arterial road. My name is Daniel Smith. I'm the TSMO Arterial Operations Manager for District 4 DOT in Southeast Florida. Ramp signaling is a traffic control method used to separate vehicles as they enter the highway from the on-ramps. It's a two-headed traffic signal, one white, red, one green, that flashes alternately, and the period which it switches can be changed according to how much traffic and how fast the flow we want to be onto the highway. The thinking behind this is to separate the vehicles as they approach the highway to prevent merging conflicts at the far right lane and the on-ramp lane. And that prevents vehicles from slowing down before the arm ramp to give room for the approaching vehicles. It allows almost a zipper merge to happen at the two converging points. We're going to use this system in periods of peak traffic in the mornings and the afternoons, probably as needed. It's an intelligent system that just does not turn on by a switch. It turns on when it's needed. It may also be used during incident management when there's a crash on the highway. We want to slow the approaches of people coming onto the highway or separate them. It, it's been proven to work. It's been used in most major metropolitan areas in the United States to great effect. And we're really looking forward to the results to improve traffic in Southeast Florida. What the public should expect from a ramp signaling system is an improved drive on their freeway commute experience. When you approach a ramp signaling, you're gonna see a sign with flashing yellow beacons that says, ramp signaled when flashing. That means you can expect to come to a stop on the ramp. What you do is you're going to come to a signal head that's got a red and a green light. You're supposed to stop, and when the light turns green, you can go. The effect of that is to separate the vehicles, leaving some space between each vehicle as they approach the freeway. That prevents the people on the freeway from having to merge out of your way to let a big platoon of cars come all at the same time. This prevents people from changing lanes when they don't need to, and improves the speed and the flow on the mainline freeway. This has been proven in many, many places throughout the nation, and it, it, it's meant to improve everyone's drive. Although you may come to a stop, it's going to improve your drive. So why ramp signals? Ramp signals have been proven to increase vehicle throughput, reduce emissions, and the number of crashes on the roadway, in addition to improving merging traffic from the ramp onto the main line. In Minnesota, they conducted a before and after study in which they've turned off for a period of five weeks their ramp signals, and it's shown that traffic crashes have increased and vehicle throughput has subsequently decreased. In Miami, which is probably where you've seen ramp signals, they have seen an increase in mainline speeds by up to 16%. And that's what we're hoping to bring back to District 4.